In this video, I'm going to be using this skirt in order to make a handbag. I'm going to try my best to make it into a contemporary handbag. Um, I don't think I'll be able to because there's not really that much to work with. But let's get started. I'm quite lucky with this skirt because this will be a lovely strap so this is going to be the handle to the bag and then the next step will be to turn the skirt inside out I want to shorten it um, I don't think I can think of anything contemporary I can do with it because it's so busy so I'll turn the skirt to the wrong side and cut away some of this because it, it is too long and I'll have enough to make the base and then sew up the side seams and the project's going to be more or less done then so I'll just turn it to the wrong side the first thing I'm going to do is pin the hemline so I'm lining up the centre back and centre front, place a pin just on the edge so I can get a nice even cut. So I'm just going to chalk how much I'm going to take off and then cut that bit off and then I can work on the shape for the bag. Hello, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exist. Let's get back to the video. I'm going to mark the shape for the bag. Um, there is a little a bit of an issue here. There's a lot more fullness here than there is on that side. We'll just see what it looks like at the end. So I'm going to come out about six centimeters. Come up about eight and a half. So. I will mark there and go across like this and I'll get my scissors and cut that out and repeat it on the other side. I'll cut that now. I'm now ready to sew a seam across the length of the bag. Just using my pins as a guide. I have sewn the seam and also used Wonderweb to stick it down so it doesn't move and it stops it from fraying or minimizes the fraying. Now I did know there was going to be a problem here because this matches up this seam with that seam but we have a problem with this one where it does not match up. It is yeah it's way out. It doesn't matter, it, sh it shouldn't make that much of a huge difference. We will sew them and see what happens. I'm 
almost finished. I've just got to work out the handle, the strap to the bag, and the side seams are coming in towards the front, so it's not best for me to put it onto those side seams because I think it will, the bag won't hang right. So I'm going to create my own side seams in which to put it on, so to speak. Because it would also be nice if they're on the belt loops so it matched there, but I'm going to stick with this method. So I'm placing it there, touching the belt loop, place a pin. I'm going to have to sew this by hand, very, very tiny hand stitching with strong thread and do the same on this side as well and use the same method to hand sew this in position even though I won't really have that many heavy things in this bag well it's going to be tiny stitches but it looks cute, it looks cute already Okay, we're almost there. There is some structure, not much. There needs to be a little bit more. The shoulder strap is now on. Um, yes, this is what it looks like. I probably will do uh, another top stitching in this thread, just for extra security, because you just don't know. But it does require hand sewing. And yeah, it's a bit floppy. good but it's got a saggy bottom so I've got some card here so I'm going to put that into the bottom to give it a little bit of structure at least to the bottom part of it oh yes oh yeah that's looking nice okay but I do like the fact that it's gathering up so you know me I like to use at least 100% of a garment so the bottom that I cut off I am going to thread that through and create a tie because I've still got belt loops at the back that I can thread it through and it can come through this colour detail here I'm going to try that and then I can say I've used at least 95% of this garment this is the bottom of the skirt I'm just going to cut through yeah, like so. We just turn that around so that I've got a better view of cutting. So I'm cutting quite close to the edge to create the cord that will go through the belt loops where I've just described. And then I can say I've used 95% of this garment. I'm excited. That looks really nice. Okay, so I put that through there. Put the other one through the other end. That's the back. Turn it to the front. And then thread it through here. Oh, that looks nice. Got to admit, it does look nice. And then thread that one through. I don't know why I'm making myself that, <laughs> because it's a snap. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's got a slouchy look to this bag, this handbag that I love. And I think this draws it together. Yes, that's really nice. Yeah, it's done. I'm happy with that. To admit it now has hanger appeal it looks gorgeous and so happy with the results it probably could do with lining but I like the fact that there's no lining in there and I think it's because of denim I don't I don't know what it is about me and denim I just like the fact that it's this fraying and I think there's a beauty in that I like the fact that the the inside looks very engineered and you can see how denim is kind of constructed but no, that's really great. I like this feature. I think I've chosen the right denim skirt for this project. Let me just turn that around. 
and yeah, the pockets of the jeans. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's very unstructured and for the time being, I will definitely be wearing it like that. If I make any changes and give it more structure, you will be the first to know. That's gorgeous. If you enjoyed this video, as you know, just give me a thumbs up. Please put any comments in the comment box below this video, whether you're going to suggest some video ideas would be amazing. Tell me your thoughts on this particular project or any other project that's on my channel. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, just talk, then please give it a like and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.